We're on our way now in the car going to the Nicobaco Hotel. Um, I just arrived to Penn Station and was able to get a cab, so that's pretty good, but they always have cabs outside. I wanted to go to the other side, however, to get me something to drink before I went to the hotel, but I'm just going to have to wait. I'm running a little bit behind. I was supposed to check in by 3, but not too late. It's 3.48 right now. Um, but the traffic is madness and I'm just hoping it stops raining because the party is at 6. I think it's between 6 and 8 o'clock, which is not bad because after that, I can go grab a bite to eat and yeah, I don't want it to be too late when I leave. But I need to be so to get myself together because as you can see, exhibit A, nothing is done. <laughs> Hey guys, so I'm finally here in my hotel room. I love the room, but I'm only here for one night. I'm going to be going to another hotel in the city for tomorrow night. Uh, the purpose is I want to be, actually, I'm going to another hotel, but I'm here for it tonight. I'm going to start getting ready because I need to prepare for the party that I'm going to. Uh, Julian Magazine is hosting a party tonight uh, with some Japanese designers and I'm going to be taking you guys with me. Uh, obviously showing you my outfit before I get there, but I was ho I'm trying to decide because I actually packed four different outfits. I don't want to have to worry about being wet. And it's supposed to stop raining, but I'm looking outside and I'm like, okay, do you want to put on what you plan to wear? I think I do. And if anything, I can easily leave the party. Like if I start getting like, ah, oh, my feet are on fire, you know, that type of deal. But I'm going to start getting ready now. I need to curl my hair. I'm going to jump back into the shower. I'm going to grease myself up nice because I don't like to be ashy. Um, especially with what I'm wearing and I hope I don't, that's what I'm thinking. Like, should I put that on or should I just put on some pants? Um, but then if I put on the pants, maybe I should just put on the pants. Maybe I should, I don't know. What say you? Um, night one for me of New York Fashion Week. I'm off to a party at Refinery Hotel hosted by Julian Magazine. This is the look. Can you even see what I'm wearing? Hopefully you can. It came together in the end, but it was a little rough and tumble in the beginning because... I didn't know what to wear. I just threw anything together. Those are the best outfits when you throw things together. I'll see you guys later. And we're off to the races. 
Your girl is flying solo tonight, but it's all good because tomorrow me and my girl, Brown Face B, will be linking up. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> this is New York City. <laughs> But I'm so frustrated. Hello to my loneliness. I guess the ignorance is bliss. Take me back to the moment. I'm going to get out of cue. This can be a young man's game. Stand up for the hall of shame. I wish I knew how much I miss. Screw. Only 
wish I knew and shine i just jumped up got in the shower put my clothes on and i'm i need to run to cvs you guys would not believe that my foolish behind left my toothpaste toothbrush and deodorant at home like girl what anyway i'm running now to cvs it's like being in the door to get those things it's about eight o'clock I'm gonna try to come back, put on one of my fits that I wanted to get footage in to get some content, and I'll check in with you guys later. That was easy. Now I just have to make sure I maintain a respectful distance from folk because my west. I don't wanna hurt nobody. <laughs> I don't wanna get in out of it. No, but I don't wanna be disrespectful. But I'm not going in and then coming back out to get any Starbucks. So I'm going in now. Um, Tall Chai. Soy. Tall Chai was.
rồi Hey, what's up, fashion fam? This is day two for me. And this is the outfit that I am wearing. Let me back up. I want you guys to see my shoes. I have a bit of yellow in them. This is what I'm wearing. You know, I always forget to say exactly what it is. But I'll let you know really quickly, this bag is Laura DiMaggio. It's perfect dupe of the Bottega. I love the color. I have on a suit that I got from H&M. And I have on some Tory Burch sandals. Let me know what you guys think about these sunglasses. These are Gucci and they are in Bordeaux. I think they're perfect for fall. I don't know how people feel about wearing sunglasses into fall, but I'm here for it. This is the look. What do you think? hoping that we can grab something to eat afterwards because I'm very hungry uh, but I don't know what her immediate plans are afterwards <laughs> even though I did talk to her earlier um, I was just trying to get there because she already touched down your name is it? so i'm stephanie miss Chaxi on youtube and i am a follower of be of all town i just absolutely love her <laughs> she thinks nobody's watching but we're watching <laughs> and i appreciate you god bless you see i'm going to politics you know i you am inside. i'll see you inside oh my god she just absolutely made my day because honestly i feel like i'm always fighting for my life on youtube <laughs> And the people ain't following. And I'm just so grateful. I'm just gonna say that. Like, and also, like, the comments, some of the comments I get are wonderful, but some people, the girls be coming for me. Anyway, I'm waiting for Marsha. I don't know where she is. But I wanted to try to get some footage of what I'm wearing. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm trying to see, should I cross the street? My supporters, my family, my fashion family, literally, I feel like so grateful. Appreciate you, appreciate you, appreciate you. So just, I mean, I know to some that have a ton of followers, that's not a big deal, but for me, it's a big deal because I've been on YouTube for a minute and at first I was like, the girls ain't checking for me at all, <laughs> at all. All right, so where the hell is Marsha gone like Kirby? Is that her? I think that's her across the street. Marsha? That's not Marsha. I thought it was Marsha. Marsha? 
I don't know. I thought it was. Girl, I'm, let me not scream at people that... Anyway, let me try to get some footage. <laughs> Look, there she is across the street. Can you guys see her? She's coming. <laughs> Here we are. just got here I'm about to change my clothes actually let me give you a real official tour so let me get my my crap out the way um, put my shoes back there move my bag so I'm gonna pretend as if I'm coming in the room so I can show you what it looks like from the actual hallway this is what the hall looks like. Nice and bright. I absolutely love it. Perfect. I'm in 1701. This is what it looks like when you first come in. So your bedroom is separated from the vanity and bathroom. This is the shower. Shower. Right here, this is the Virgin Hotel. They have the sink here. That's just my crap there, so don't worry about it. You see my stand in the back. I've already come in and kind of settled in because I wanted to get out of that suit. That is my great big old suitcase. Of course, they have the things you need, 
this is nice. They have a yoga mat because I think they have a, a open, I don't think they do have a 24 hour gym. So that's great. It's always nice to have a nice gym to work out in. I need to go to the gym, but am I going? No. And this is the living quarters. Um, I did that, that those <laughs> indentations on the bed, I actually did that. But get into the view, homegirl at front desk, hook me up big time because she put me in a corner room with a view. And this view is everything. I can see the Empire State building from here. This is like the whole corner is like nothing but window. So we absolutely love. And oh my God, it kind of makes me angry that I didn't book the entire weekend here. But this view is just like, everything i can't wait to see it tonight it's going to be absurd i'm about to change my clothes because the sun is still out i'm here by myself i did you know let me let me turn this around give me a second guys okay so yeah i'm in a hotel room uh hopefully you guys can see me clear i don't know my camera looks kind of fuzzy or maybe it's because i had sunglasses on for most of the day and my eyes are readjusting but right now i have on the robe that they have here in the hotel room i'm about to change quickly because i'm done for the events that i was attending i'm leaving tomorrow but i did this is one of the reasons why i wanted to stay in the city because it's near to everything i wouldn't have to worry about getting dressed and going out and getting back home, even though I've done that in the past, um, several times in the past, I find that it's easier. Of course, you do have to pay for your room stay, you know, your lodging, but for me, it it just made more sense this go round, especially for the events that I was going to. And obviously, you know, my husband was like, yeah, you know, you get dressed, and you don't have to worry about, you know, getting back to New Jersey or going and being dressed up. And then, you know what I mean? Like that can be a lot, um, especially if you were in Hills. And last night when I went to the uh, refinery event, the Hills were, you know, after a couple hours, my feet, I was just like, girl. <laughs> but I made it through it. Interestingly enough, I walked back to the hotel from refinery, which... Yeah, my feet were like on burn. They were like crisp burn. Um, but yeah, we're here now. I'm going to change into something else. You know, in fact, I think I just want to, I'm going to jump in the shower. At first, I was just going to change my clothes, but I think I need to j jump in the shower. This will give my phone some time to charge. I'm going to treat myself to dinner. This is just me here. I actually was gonna treat my girlfriend because it was her birthday Friday, um, the brown face B. Um, Marsha, I was gonna treat her because her birthday was Friday, but she had to get back home to her mans. And so, <laughs> and you know, she has work in the morning. Yeah, anyway, that's that. I'll check in with you guys in a little while, but this is just like the cutest hotel. And girlfriend at the front desk you're everything because thank you for hooking me up like i booked a room with a view but initially she was gonna put me i think on the 12th floor which i am happy about because you know i could see i don't like being facing a brick wall or facing just like nothingness like give me cityscape i deserve cityscape so i'm glad she did this i'm about to get the day off my face jump in the shower and we'll check in later. And then my phone is charging now, so amen.
look like I've been through some things. <laughs> I have. Anyway, I'm about to jump in the shower. I'm going home today. And it's been amazing being in the city for the weekend. This is not the first time that I've done something like this, but I've done it with my husband before in the past. Like we just get a hotel if we're doing, if we're seeing the show, if we're hanging out. But this was really good because it was for Fashion Week events. Anyhow, I'm about to get in the shower and head down to breakfast at the Everdeen. If you guys don't know, now I am in the Virgin Hotels on 30th Street. I think it's between 30th, yeah, 30th Street um, and Broadway here in Manhattan. Very close to Penn Station is why I booked it also. I absolutely love this hotel because I had been to an event here in the past and it was just everything. So I had to come back. Anyhow, I need to get myself together. As you can see, I look a mess. Um, but this is a judgment-free zone, right? Right? <laughs> so I'll see you guys in a little bit. So that is it for us fashion fam. I'm about to get out of here. I had a great time this weekend in New York City. Although I'm here every day because I work in New York, it was great to be here for some really great events. During the weekend, I met a lot of people. I am just so excited for what's coming in the spring like what's coming in the spring for fashion week 2025 i'm really excited i'm about to get out of here because i don't want those people on my neck about checking out on time and yeah i had a great stay here at uh the virgin hotel as i did at the knickerbocker and yeah i i keep saying yeah because i don't know what else to say I had I'm, I really enjoyed myself, met some great people, and I'm excited. Duffel with me, but this is just a two-piece cohort set. Leisure, I guess you could call it leisure or athleisure. Athleisure wear is from Zara. Um, top and bottom, wide leg, kind of like joggers, but you know, a little more. Uh, a little more formal than a regular jogger because they're wide leg. Uh, they have a drawstring here at the waist. I have my Loewe puzzle bag with me. I didn't have time to change my jewelry and I really don't care right about this point. I'm ready to go because I am quite tired. I go back to work tomorrow um, and I'm looking forward to that, to see my kids, especially because uh, I'm excited to see what my AP students, my 12th grade AP students have to say uh, because we started reading Crime and Punishment. Love it. And I want to see what their take is on it. We're going to have a discussion. It's going to be real good. And so I'm excited. But anyway, I'm about to get out of here. Let me grab my bags and I'll see you guys when I get home because I want to do like a wrap up of my time here in New York City for Fashion Week and all the amazing influencers that I follow and enjoy watching. Uh, Simply Kira. Of course, I went with my girlfriend at the Brown Face B, Marsha. Uh, we had such a great time yesterday. Also, I got to meet um, Brown Girl Chi. I got to meet um, 
I am she. Uh, I got to meet so many people. I one of my fa big time favorites. Um, oh hey K, and also especially Brittany Pockets and Bowls. Like I absolutely love her channel. So it was great to get to see those ladies in person, and just like you know, rub shoulders, and then especially to oh my God, like. To be acknowledged by anyone because, you know, sometimes you feel like nobody knows who I am. Uh, even if you are getting some traction, it just, I don't know. So I was very, very pleased to meet some people that support my channel. I appreciate you guys so much. But I'm going to do a proper wrap up and shout out once I get out of here because time is ticking. I want them on my ass. They will be on my ass. Let me try.